Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, we explain how to run LLAMA 3.1 Large Language Model or LLM in Python using OLAMA on Windows and on a local computer. For those of you who are not familiar with LLMs, OLAMA is an interface and a platform for running different LLMs on local computers. On the other hand, LAMA 3.1 is Meta's most powerful LLM up to date. We will call, or better to say, we will run LAMA 3.1 by using OLAMA's Python library. After the response is generated in Python, we will save the response in a text file such that you can use the generated text for other purposes. Here's a brief demonstration of what you will learn in this video tutorial. This Python script will import all LAMA library that will be used to call LAMA 3.1 model. Here is the model that we will call. This model has around 8 billion parameters and we will ask this question. What is diffraction of light? Then what will happen over here? This script will format this question in a form such that OLAMA library and LAMA 3.1 can understand. Then we will simply ask for response. The response will be generated. Then we will print the response on the computer screen. That is, we'll print it here. And at the same time, we will save the response in this output.txt file. To see this file, we will go to the corresponding folder and here is the generated response. It's saved as a simple text file and you can include it in your report or in some other document. Okay, so here's the general procedure. The first step is to install OLAMA and download LAMA 3.1 model from the OLAMA website. Then the second step is to create a workspace folder, create a Python virtual environment and install OLAMA Python library. And finally, in the third step, we will write Python code that will call LAMA 3.1 or better to say that will run LAMA 3.1 by using OLAMA library. And at the end, we will save the response generated by LAMA 3.1 in a text file. So let's not use lose time and let's immediately start. The first step is actually to go to this website and over here you need to click on Windows and then click on download for Windows preview. So click here and over here I will save it in a downloads folder. Okay, so let's save it over here and then we need to execute this installation file. So click over here or simply go to your download folder and execute this file. I will execute it as an administrator, however, maybe you don't need to do that. I don't think that you even need to do that. However, I like to execute everything what I could do as an in, as an administrator. Okay, let's see this first window. Let's just click on install and this should install. Now, for those of you who are a little bit more advanced users, uh, this thing will be very interesting. Olama saves its executables in this folder. It's in users Alex, that is, this is my username, app data, local, programs, llama, and you can see that the files are stored over here. This is very important for uninstalling. However, Olama stores models in a different folder, and this is very important to keep in mind. Now, immediately after you install Olama, you can click over here and you will see this small cute icon representing Llama is given over here. And you can click on it and this means actually that all Llama is running, which is very good. So it's kind of in the background of our system and it's running. Now let's verify that all Llama is actually running. To do that, let's click here and let's search for command prompt. And over here, in this command prompt, let's try to see Olama. And voila, here it is. It's actually running. Good. This means that Olama is actually in the system path and we can use it from command prompt. Okay, the next step is to download the model. So go back to this website over here and click on models. Now, 
Over here you have several choices. However, in this video tutorial, I will choose Llama 3.1. So you can either search for Llama 3.1 if you don't see it. So let's see Llama 3.1. If you press enter, you'll see it here. Okay, good. And now over here you have several options. If you click here, you will see that you have models of different sizes, 8 billion mo parameter model, 70 billion parameter model, and 400 B billion parameter model. Over here, I'm going to choose this one, and immediately you will get this command for installing and for running this model. So click here, and go back to the terminal, and here, run this to download and to install the model. And over here, you need to be patient. Now you're pulling manifest, and this will take some time. Basically, you need to download 4.7 gigabyte of model files, and this is very, very significant, and it will consume almost 5 gigabyte of space on our local disk. And after some time, you will see this prompt. So what happened here? We downloaded this model, Llama 3.18b, and this model is automatically executed. And since it's executed, we are inside of a Llama prompt. And we can simply ask questions. For, for example, let's test this model and let's ask how to make orange juice. And let's see what happens. Making orange juice is a simple process that requires fresh oranges, a juicer, a blender, and some basic kitchen equipment. So it means that the model is actually working. Good. Let's wait until it finishes such that we don't see any error, and we can see two methods, and this is real-time generation, which is super nice. Okay, so it works perfectly. Let's just wait. Wow, this is a super long description. Wow, this is amazing. You can actually cook like this. Okay, good. So the model is working. Now, to exit this terminal, you need to type this, and we are back to the Windows command line. Now, next time you actually run this command, you're not going to download the model, you're just going to execute the model, since the model is stored on the local computer. Good. Let's continue. The next step is to create Python virtual environment. And over here, I've wrote instructions that we need to follow. First of all, let me resize this such that you can see what I'm typing and you can follow the manual. We need to go to the C drive and over here create another folder called codes. I already have this folder on my disk, so I'm not going to create it. However, you should execute this command. After that, let's navigate to the codes folder. And over here, we need to create another folder called Olama test. This will be a base folder for our Olama project. Okay, so let's create this folder. Okay, and let's navigate to this folder. And in this folder, let's create our Python virtual environment. To create the Python virtual environment, we need to type Python M Venv Olama. The name of the virtual environment is Olama. And then over here, to execute this virtual environment, I actually need to write this. Watch out, there was an error in this script over here, so better watch what I'm typing over here, Olama. And then I need to execute from the scripts file, the file called activate.bat, and this will activate my virtual environment. Then, in this virtual environment, I need to install Olama. This will install the Python library called Olama, and it will enable us to run the model from Olama and from Python. Good. The next step is actually to write our model. In this video tutorial, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And I can start Visual Studio Code like this. However, you can also use some other Python editor. I created a separate video tutorial explaining how to install Visual Studio Code. So if you press here, Visual Studio Code will open and click Yes, I trust the authors and let's start. Click on File, New File, and I'm going to call the file Test Olama. 
dot py. Okay, and then I'm going to create the file. Next, I'm simply going to copy and paste the file that I wrote, that is the Python script, in order to save the time, and I will explain this Python script. Here it is. First of all, over here, we are importing Olama Python library that enables us to use Olama and to call the model Llama 3.1. Then over here, we need to adjust the name of the model. So I will erase this and I will write the precise name of the model. So go over here and type Olama list. This will list all the downloaded models. And here is the model that we actually downloaded. So click here, copy this and paste it here. Good. So this is our model. And over here, we will ask a question. For example, let's ask the question, what is diffraction of light? For example, a physics question. What is diffraction of light? Good. Okay. And then what do we do over here? We simply call olama.chat function. We specify the model name. It's our desired model defined here. And over here, we specify our question as a dictionary, or better to say as a list, and inside we have a dictionary. We specify inside role will be the user, and the content will be question to ask. And here is the question, and we pass these parameters, and that's it. Olama.chat will compute the response, and will, it will store the response in this variable called response. Then, if you want to extract the response in a text format, we will do it over here, response, we want to get the message, and we want to get the content, and over here, we simply print the message, or better to say, print the response, and at the same time, I will save the response in this file called outputolama.txt. So, over here, I will open the file in the write mode. I will use this encoding such that I can store some special characters and inside we will simply text file dot write and we will write this response generated by a llama that's it nothing special okay so let's run this script press Control shift p and over here search for python then select interpreter you will see it immediately here and over here it's very important to select the proper version of Python script or Python executable that we want to execute. It's very important that we are executing Python from our virtual environment. This is because we installed Olama in this virtual environment. Click here, then click here and run Python file. And let's hope that everything will be fine. So be patient over here. Currently I'm running on my other computer that doesn't have so powerful GPU. It has a GPU 2060 with only 8 gigabytes of RAM. However, the computer itself has 64 gigabytes of RAM. And you can see how quick it is. Literally several seconds, and here is the response. And we can see that response, let's analyze it. Diffraction in the context of light refers to the bending of light waves as they pass through or around an obstacle or narrow slit. Very good. And this response really makes sense. Good. Okay, so let's find the generated file. So here it is. Here is a llama test, and here is the generated file. And the response of all llama, or better to say llama 3.1, is stored inside of this file, and you can use this text in your report or for some other purpose. Okay, that's all for today, and thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video tutorial.